I'm trying to reason with you. Well, you reason with them while I read books. There's a lot of books to read up here. There's a beast castle. Oh, well, I've got some books for you. Oh, that was the beast voice. Uh, <laughs> what kind of beast voice was that? Well, you know, he, uh... I'm glad I want you to read books he's under a, He's under a curse. Uh, why do we think he has a really masculine beast voice or whatever that is? You're awake, I mean, I guess, but, How do you like, feel? in every... Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. You should be dead. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance. Why am I looking course. over there? That'll come soon. <laughs> Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Hmm. <clears throat> Oh. What the heck do we do? It's interesting that there's an occultism I can't get uh, that I, I probably could have only have gotten if I put both points in at the beginning, or whatever. Because mm. I haven't found any occultism books. Yeah, you'll run into that. <laughs> I heard you talking. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. His eyes. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. Mm. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. No. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why yeah. would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Mm. Yeah. You should be dead. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have put a point in that. Just to finish it off, so I can get professional. Mm. Oh, I, I, guess I couldn't do it. Failing, Sorry, I couldn't do that one. What? Your memory seems to be failing, mm. Bradley. What do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. I have no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, uh, yeah, then what? I. Uh, the rest is quite blurry. You died, I don't son. recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of got everything there. What, what was that? She just like hopped up there. <laughs> You can talk to her. What's that? They said you can talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could do the what they had what they had me endure. Yeah, sounds too emo for me. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was fullest creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins huh. family. Before he died, and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Yes. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. Oh. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. 
Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Why indeed? I found this at the Hawkins house. The doses seem insane. Barbiturates. But these doses... What do you mean? Half the island is under treatment. What is prescribed here, however, is enough to knock out an ox. Fuller wrote this prescription to fool everyone into believing she was mad. Or perhaps her husband wrote it. Perhaps her hands. She keeps like Fuller flopping around. around. A conspiracy. How dreadful. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I saw dead bodies. I saw dead people. This seems Dr. like a dumb Fuller thing to talk about. But getting a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kinds. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Yeah, you know. hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is Back highly then, respected. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Well, I don't really have anything else to say on this. Uh... Let's just go back here. Nope. I, I met a Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't Have seen him seat. since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I can't really explain this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tell me how Mr. Sanders he died. He flopped around in the air and died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You Are you really listening? Think she's involved. How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's well, probably how they met. His demeanor shifted mm -hmm, so fast. Please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Hmm. I mean, honestly, it's uh, probably better to be prudent at this You're point right. in time. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. Oh, I'll go to see Francis' widow. Cthulhu Perhaps I'll find a this. link between <laughs> yeah. his death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. I'll do my best. All right. So I gotta go talk to this person, wherever she might be now, pass on the whiskey. Probably already seen all these books. Uh, quick search, spin the globe, touch the bust, let's go. Because the magnifying glass is me. You know, what I th you know who I think would do a good Cthulhu game? Who's that? Telltale Games. Oh yeah. Yeah, probably. Like the the people or the yeah I know you're talking about did um was it Telltale? Well, there's a Telltale series. I mean that they made all those like Borderlands and um, Walking Dead and all that kind of stuff, right? Well, well, who was who was the ones that did the um the Your Choices Matter games? I think that was that like like Man of Medan and um. Uh, Evil Within Us or something like that. I think it's not Evil Within Us. Uh, Until Dawn. So, 
I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it was them. <clears throat> All right. Pierce Gold and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis, oh, sorry, <coughs> Colonel Sanders, an art collector and a friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the Shambler, which is that big lightning monster from Quake, that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. You must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. I'm ex-military. However, and before we husband. go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. Super that is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. Ah, what's up, cat? You know each other. Our paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. <laughs> it's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. He's dropping. Very well, Miss Baker. <laughs> this way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Developer is Supermassive Games. Supermassive. Yep. Yeah. The quarry, I am with that one. As to when it's the Dark Pictures series. You had the opportunity series. to talk to my husband. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. That's all I, he talked Sarah about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. Yes, How uh, was certain he? circumstances. Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? How do you know it was an attack? <laughs> he died screaming right before my eyes. <laughs> nah, maybe not. <laughs> I expected to find you more grief-stricken than this by the death of your husband. What are you I do not like the tone of your illusion, sir. I had long months to weep every tear in my body, and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. And so I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria and grieving widow in my voice. Rest assured, however, my anger is real. I need to understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? They have a very and, and right before your in their eyes. emotional state. Did they you do. not do anything to help him? Uh, hmm. I mean, I don't really know if that's true. I mean, technically, Fuller wasn't helping, that's for sure, but it could have been the Shambler, some weird creature. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. Um, what was it? Oh, I see. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, it's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured. And I came across him in the hospital, quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. 
I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Hmm. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. We should go look at it. Who else mm -hmm. to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. He if said you not to so look at it, but I'm going to look at it. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. All right. Well, cool. We're gonna die. Um, all right, I've got more, uh, more of this. More of this. And some of that. All right. Look at you and your spot hit. Yup. Okay. What's this over here? Did That's she really spotted. care for him after all? Dear Madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. By the way, he was kind of ripped to shreds, so you might not want the body. Yeah. Oh, it, it's just the same things over and over again. Alright, well, ah, that's fun. But there's an actual... Is there? I tried to hit... Okay. I, there was one time where I tried to actually hit them in a different order, and it still... I must have misclicked. Yep. All right, well, we'll figure that out in a minute, I'm sure. Maybe. Possibly. Hey, more medicine. Medicine progression. Yeah, so it should be 30, yeah, 36%. So two more books, and I should level, I think. Oh, is that a closet I can get into? No. She's like, yeah, if you can go upstairs and look at the painting, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to look around a little bit, if that's okay with you. These paintings are so uh, abstract. Very modern. That's nice. Skulls. It's always good. Seems like a very happy person. Wait. So the mountain and then the messed up mountain. Okay. <laughs> the messed up mountain. That painting. Hacha! No? I'm not looking at your painting. You better go back to the way you were! Hmm. That at all. Hmm. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Look at this phonograph! Uh, an audio recording that Francis, uh, <coughs> Colonel Sanders left for his wife Irene. Alright, sure. I'm definitely doing more than what she said. Yep, that's fine though. This is fine. It's all fine. I need to go to the bathroom? Is that the bathroom? I'm sorry. Strange Amerindian pendant. An ancient amulet. Probably Amerindian. Whatever that is. There's some kind of Native American tribe, I guess. I don't know. I wonder what its purpose is. Well, it is Amerindian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's fair. I have no idea. Right, where, where is this even set? Like, what... Do we even know where we're at in this game? Yeah, you're on an island. Yeah, but, like... What, like what island off of what was it the United States I don't it think said so. east of somewhere I use one of those. those I mean if you look in your journal you might be able to find it strange for months Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting to find
finally give it away for nothing. Dear Colonel, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah. An old diary. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you. Key to the Sanders Gallery. Smack! All right, right in the back <laughs> of the head. Would you read the book? <laughs> oh no! Do you read it or do you not read it? Oh, this will monsters, affect your destiny. Unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. All right. Occultism, yeah, boy. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Did you stop eyeing me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh yeah, medicine book. Let's go. Nice. All right, fine. Let's talk to this chick. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. Wow. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Uh, let's see. Another penny by Sarah's. None of your business. Um. I mean, my eloquence isn't that good. And Maybe I, it doesn't need to be that good. Maybe. But there's... I mean, he's just lying. Like... There's no reason to lie. Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. And you. What brings hmm. you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. I feel Why like you? I would have gotten found Believe out. it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Mm -hmm. He missed the keyhole altogether. Now, wait a minute. Let's go back real quick. That's definitely the place to go. Is there any part of this house that I didn't get yet? Well, you did get a phonograph uh, thing. Yeah. And there's a phonograph behind you. Oh, book. Nope. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty much dead ends, I have to imagine. In this direction. Hmm. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright, where'd that phonograph go? You said, uh, back here? Turn left. Yep, behind there. Ah, there we go. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. It's inside my head. I see him. Huh. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. So, carving out your eyes didn't do much? Oh, yeah. I hear that. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Cursed paintings that accursed Sarah. Irene, I made a mistake. <sighs> All right, go. I Listen. fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. It's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. 
Hmm. I can't take okay. anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Like there were definitely more notes when I listened to it in the thing, so I was like, okay. I thought it was low, high, low, high. But I thought it was, well. No. I don't remember. Alright, one more time. That's kind of annoying. Wish I could just skip right to it. How dare. There we go. Awesome. Jeez, that was annoying. All right. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Yeah, more cultism, and I imagine it's probably the same slow rate. Oh no, actually. That yeah, already fifty percent. That went up uh, pretty fast, actually. All right. Cool. Well, good, I guess. Um. All right. Let's go look at the painting. You stay right there. This is how I walk. Read that book. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, can we hide in there? That's good. I want to look at the painting. Alright, fine. Oh, there's that dagger we were just talking about, I feel like. No. Oh, no, maybe that. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. That's some interesting stuff. Big old mask. That's lovely. <laughs> A skull sphinx. Hmm. hmm, indeed. Hmm. Oh, another one. Would you like a gift? Seen up Baldur's Gate 3? Never heard of it. Well, you know, it's a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <no>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, the new meme about it is that if you are a druid, you can stack crates really super high, take albor form, do an elbow drop from top of the crates, <laughs> and do a massive amount of damage to really? anything nearby. That's funny. The public it's, entrance to the it's gallery. It's dumb, but it's funny. I can appreciate all the uh, different paintings in here. Nice. Hey. Hey, more oil. Yay. What's up with her eye over there? Oh, it's demonic. What's up with his eyes? Yeah. What the heck is this? Oh. That's lovely. That looks like something from that one game. Um what what was it? What Torment? Torment. Or It was basically you played a you, you, you played somebody in hell trying to escape it. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, is that, yeah, I think I actually know what you're talking about. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Hey. hey. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Why was he so interested in old weapons? Oh, we Look, a You're right, and like... <laughs> Look, a smaller one. Yeah. Is there you got a, you got a daddy cipher and a baby cipher. Where's the mama cipher? Alright. That just kind of looked like maybe it would be different on the angle I looked at it. I don't know. Alright. Oh, that's a lovely mouth you have oh, there. Oh, jeez. Okay. You got all these little tablets everywhere. Lovely characters. Jesus, there's so many weird things. Like the, the man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yeah, that's a big house, by the way. You can put all this in here. That's crazy. 
Oh, nice rump. Another one of those weird sphinx creatures. It's good, it's good. Yeah. That's the shambler over there, I presume. That's weird. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I uh, care for this person's artwork. Man, grotesque. Let's have a seat. Burn it all! Burn! Okay. Do you wish to look at the Shambler? No, not really. <laughs> Why, I know I shouldn't, but here I am. What the hell was that? It just seemed kind of annoying. He uh, wouldn't let me do anything, I guess. Every time I tried to go around, he just saw me or something. What the hell? Not really that? seeing me. Fun. Consult the diary to figure out what you need to do. Oh, is that what I need to do? Uh, let's see. Okay, Same. like what? It's not telling me anything. No. <laughs> It seemed like every time I looked at it, he would flare up and be like, Arr! but you said don't look at it, so. Yeah. Alright, well. Because when you see it, it sees you. I'm trying to, like, do the same thing in real life.
Yeah, all right. This is so long. This seems very Cthulian, say, doing the same thing over and over again. What the hell Have was I ever that? told you the definition of insanity? Mm hmm. <laughs> no, everything has been bolted yeah. and magic shut. He was right there and I saw him, so I, it sounded like it triggered him. So I was like, all right, don't want to. I think you should look at the jur your journal to figure out what to do, because there is definitely a thing to do here. All right. All right. The key to the gun is probably in the op. Okay, I wouldn't know. Like. Uh, I mean, that's just it. That's all there is. <clears throat> well, check the other stuff. Clues. So I, I, yeah, so Pierce is me. Still sanity, fun stuff. Clues. Uh, letter from those people. Okay. Uh, shall I grab a dagger and stab him with it? Uh, maybe. Because it's not really telling me to do anything, but uh, that seems like something I might do. But you notice the picture of the dagger, right? Look familiar? <clears throat> I mean, there's one in the room, yeah. But now you have to find it. Yeah, okay. That's why I was saying, like, alright, I guess I have to find that one, but it, I feel like it was over here. Damn. Did it hear that? I'm sure it did. Didn't know he'd just friggin' punch the friggin' glass and break it all. Yep. Uh oh. Does he know where you went? Probably not. <laughs> Tell me what I did wrong there. You chose the wrong case. Oh, yeah, the case. I thought you meant talking about him immediately coming back in the room. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just saying you want to be more careful what case you go to. But... Yes. Well, now that I know he's just going to freaking break it open, yeah. Anything in here. So there was one other place with a bunch of displays. Shambler. Shambler. 
Basham Basham Bulls. Mm-hmm. Shimmy Shammy Shambles. So like, let's hope he's not right outside there, because if I pop out, he's just gonna freaking destroy me. Gouge your guts out again. Surprise! Head on! No, no. Down. Dang it. This is a dumb level! Whoever designed this should be murdered! <laughs> uh, uh, so... It's just, it's just dumb. It's just like... Is it that one? Is that one? Is that one? They're gonna die every time you do something. Would you like assistance? No. Okay. Now I'll just sit back and enjoy you getting as frustrated as I did at this level. <laughs> Damn. No, okay. Did it hear that? It looked like two. This dagger looks different. Don't stab him with it. No. That's fine. There with the crashing of the glass and everything. There he is. Yeah, what's that? Like, geez. I go out to the right, to my right, so I can go to the door with the dagger and cut a hole through space time. And... Where's the star? Do I need to stab the star? The way I didn't want him to go. Fantastic. He is like right there. Jeez. Oh, come on. He's been here. I can smell you. Yeah. No. Must have been the wind. <laughs> I was like, all right, get, <laughs> get out of here, you stupid monster. Hmm, I'm tired of dealing with crap. Way. Statues, dude. They make me look pretty. So he doesn't just come right back in the room. Or else not, this will all be for naught. I'm just a patrol. Oh, you. Ah, I'm there. 
God, this is so annoying! Like, I'm sure Google's gonna be like, yeah, freaking everybody hated this level. What the hell was that? This dagger looks different. Oh, what was that bangy sound with glass? Mm, must have been that woman I smelled. I'm gonna get you, woman. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try it, even though I've it seems like a bad idea. What? I'm gonna go to the door with the dagger. Oh, he's right there! Come come on, game! That's so <laughs> dumb! Uh, I heard you! Uh, uh, where'd you go? Oh, so annoying. Come on. I know you're here. I, I heard you. Frustrating. Get the heck out of here. I need to be able to progress this level. And you're just making me wait. Aren't you scared though? <laughs> it's the ship. <laughs> Dude, your face, man. I'm not scared, I'm annoyed. I can't even touch it. Well, you can't hit the shambler. You can't, can't hit that. Oh, can't hit the, the, the painting is the last thing I can think of. But I'm like, it's gonna be all the way in there. And I either gotta like stab it or burn it or both, or I don't know. But it wouldn't have had me go get the dagger if I needed to, you know, burn it. Burn it. So, I guess I gotta go stab the painting. for it. Um, well, I mean, you could if it goes uh, like on the opposite side of the room or something. And just like it, it heard you, it decides to stay close. I mean, who knows though? Maybe, that, maybe that's what you need to do. Just get in a good position and then make a run for it. Oh, it was way up there. Oh, Jeez, how annoying. You see how I use DVD there to loop him around that couch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, DVD skills coming in clutch. Cut his arm! Off right now. What's the matter with you? God, that was so dumb. I appreciate what they're going for, but my goodness. You're losing it, Detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Oh, yeah. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. 
What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. Hmm. You knew about the monster? You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Mm. Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> no. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to be coy, but at the same time I'm like, meh, maybe not. <laughs> uh... It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now hmm. go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. <laughs> he looked pissed. <laughs> I feel you, bro. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, a <laughs> bunch of loaded, loaded saves, the detective managed to send it back to the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake. Or Algernon? Was it Algernon or Algernon? I think Al it was Algernon. Algernon. Uh, owner of the nameless bookstore. Well, how am I supposed to find the bookstore if it's nameless? Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. It's just called the nameless. Uh oh. Mm, that's normal. They seem like a rough and tumble group around here, so like. He's just trying to. He's like, oh, I forgot my key. BAM! <laughs> like, <laughs> open this door. All right. Where's where, the bookseller? Where's the nearest dagger and painting? I, I, I hope we can save my game, because here we go again. Here we go, no, here we dying. go, here we go again. Where are these old diaries going? My clues? Inventory? Knowledge? Old diaries, oh my goodness. Maybe? No, these are... Uh, I don't know. Where did that go? Whatever. Check your sanity. Yeah, I got some to on. Not doing great. Uh, alright. Well, sure. Books, books, books. Look at all the books. Hmm. Ah, medicine. One more, and I will level it up. Seems like a good place to do it. Not oh, so bright. There we go. It is a bookstore. Uh huh. Yay. Yay! Three of five! Professional! Oh, I guess I had that from the last book, whatever. Too bad you only got that now. Yep, could have gotten something better earlier. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll do better in newer checks. It's all we can do. Oh yes, well, more of that. All the histories. Now, 
have gotten like three different his history books, but that was book four. I wonder if there's all of them here somewhere. Archaeology. Don't want to miss one, but I don't think I'd miss one in here. It's probably elsewhere. Whoops. Lovely little skeleton hanging there. Everyone has one of those. What happened here? Oh, is this thing gonna follow me to the whole whole place now? I don't know, maybe there's only the three. I'm not oh, oh there's that thing. I'm not seeing uh, any other books. Oh Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Wonder does hidden object show those better? Is that what that does? Could be. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Such big words to somebody who didn't know they were in a Oh, song. occultism. Nice. Yes, very big words. Uh, Would you read the book? Read the what book. does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. <gasps> it's the Shambler. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers, its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. There's a there's a 25 point word. Yeah, exactly. Phantasmagorial. Uh, chiropractor. 39 points. Chiropractor. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we found so many books, just not the fourth one of the one I'm looking for. Or the first one of the four. It does seem like... Okay, I want to see. Like... It's something like when I had my light out, I saw more. Yep. Um, which is interesting. Well, because you eliminate dark corners. Yeah. So, I'll have to remember that in the future. I don't think there's any, like, difference between the... Maybe there is a difference between the uh, big lantern and the small lighter. But, I want to get all the knowledge, dang it. So I guess we move on. Let's reconstruct. Let's Time just self-destruct. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like uh, amateur work. Called it. Oh my gosh. I'm a better detective than this guy. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. Someone tall? Is it because he's got big feet? How does one know? Just because they have big feet doesn't mean that they are tall. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Yeah. Got that from a medicine check, huh? Yeah. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? A uh, very clumsy what one. What killed all these animals? What happened that made the burglar flee before Stabbed finishing right his there. work? What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? Hmm. It was in the journal. I don't know if they, uh... 
really want me to look at that, but yeah. That. On the floor. There's something on the floor? Everybody do the dinosaur. Investigate more. Light on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Tall, yeah. Now let's go in this room. You cannot. I cannot. I believe you missed the magnifying glass on Sarah, but... Oh, is that what it was? Oh, what yeah. What sort of power did that distortion Hawkins stuff painting screw me up? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. How are you just Everything knowing all this? Sarah Hawkins case. Because he's pulling a Sherlock Holmes beautiful mind. I guess, man. No, 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 no. Keep going. No, no, no. We must be fully blind. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination okay. of his safe. A page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to it is it is possible to read. Well, I mean that's good. Uh, if somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in the plane of reality, in order that they may be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must not or must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. That seems so pointed, but okay. Uh, each cylinder is uh, numbered even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, that's fine. Okay. Indeed, despite my uh, preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect, wow, he doesn't think much of himself, uh, and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of the Miskatonic University. The content of the safe is not only uh, vast, a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall in the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Alright. Uh, let's see if there's anything else going on. Three cylinders. Is everyone on this island Seriously. taking sleeping pills? Like, literally everyone. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins hmm. and an old amulet? This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to, to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose it is to push back the forces of the Great Old Ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins uh, that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips up, up to trips up to Cairo. Last of Hawkins' trips up to Cairo. Okay. Uh, it remains to be seen whether he knows the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Hmm. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Okay, so. Never heard of them. 
Hmm. Things that should not be? Nice. Uh, How many volumes are there? That's the same collection. Wait, that's also three, isn't it? Three. Another three. volume by yeah. Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Six. Never heard of them. The prophecies. How many volumes are there in this collection? Three, six, eight. Another volume by Arkham Four. Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Isis unveiled. Oh my goodness. Seven. Three, six, four, seven, eight. Arkham. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Nah. Where was the uh, oil thing that I saw earlier? Probably in this room over here. Yeah, it's in that room. Things are not looking good. I thought it was in this room. Maybe it's not. Uh, and these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Hmm. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Hmm. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. So the chessboard... These red where's... rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. Okay. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth ah. and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay. The Queen has little protection. Yeah, what can I do? Whoops, that's getting really low. The queen has little protection. Yeah. So, where's the thing I need? And there's the goblet he's talking about. The chalice of knowledge. This goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make it make up a specific motif? Okay. And then volume nine, wherever it might be. Oh, there it was. Volume 9 -th. Donde esta? I feel like it would be in there with the other two things, but I did not see it. And all the other volumes are out here somewhere. So... But I thought I went through every single one of those. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Three, Drake talked about a particular volume. Three, so these are the volumes that Drake. What did Drake say two, about this collection? Three, Drake talked two, about a. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking. What did Drake say about this? Six, Drake talked about a. Four, so these are the volumes four. that Drake was talking about in his message. Really. Boo, hiss, boo. I imagine it must be back in there then, because I don't see anywhere else. I 
would do every one of those that I I think so anyway. Maybe I didn't. Oh, look at it, me. That is a good question. I don't know. The queen has little protection. Uh, all right. Riddles, riddles, riddles. All right. Let's get this. So let me see here. Uh, uh, bookstore. I will give you this advice. What's that? Don't overthink it. Well, like, so there were like three things on the safe, mm -hmm. and do I need to put them on there or something? Oh, okay. Each one is a single digit. I see. So. So first was Ding. the goblet, second was the chess piece, and the last one was the book. So. The chalice of knowledge. Yeah. What special motif? It looks like we've got. One, one ruby, two green ones, and I mean, like, I don't know how to really signify that in a, in a number. Uh, one don't overthink piece. it. So there's three different colors, maybe. One more piece of advice. What's that? Listen to the cylinders again. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... Rocks like precious stones lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. The Chalice of Knowledge. Hmm. Well, I mentioned red drops. Um... So maybe just the red ones, or is it to pay? Um, one, two. There's five on here, it looks like. What would he pay? Let's look at the. Let's look at this here. Uh, so again, it's like what, the queen num has little what number can I decipher from this? Because that's what it is, right? It's numbers that these pertain to. Oh my, oh. Oh, I see. Well. Hmm. Well, let's listen to that one again, I guess, as well. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white the number of their white pieces. I see four, our number dwindling. Three, four, nine, or five, four, nine, rather, perhaps. We shall refuse to be the place. Five. Whoops. Four, nine. Nope. So, unless it's really supposed to be. There's three pieces that are protecting the queen, but that'd be... Yeah, dumb. All right. Good job. That's... Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Well done. Well done. Yeah, that puzzle only gave me a moderate amount of trouble. Like, the the, the last one is what hung me up because I was looking the, for... The, the book nine, book. and like, yeah. I, I was like, book nine does not exist, therefore it has to be yeah. number nine, yeah. I'm just waiting for the. Uh, oh. Oh, it's Sauron! My goodness! 
<laughs> what a crossover. <laughs> Is my occultism level high enough that I can use this book? It's oh, it's uh, it's it's Professor X's uh, what is what is that? Cerebro. Cerebro. That's what it is. Yeah. It's Cthulhu Cerebro. <laughs> yeah. Cthulhu. <laughs> Are you a Cthulhu? <laughs> In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden in there. A book covered in human skin, the Necronomicon, wide inside, irresistibly attracted uh, the, the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that from the video. I didn't realize it. <laughs> I was projecting myself into another body. Well, there's a bunch of other people. Uh, yeah, I saw that, but like... It hits you in the mind. Yeah. <laughs> This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. Mm -hmm. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that guy. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Oh, I'm that person. Right. Um. Very well. I'll examine him. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Yeah. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances yeah. seem to indicate right. the presence of a foreign body. I don't know some of the things they're saying here. 30 year old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Lord, this smell. So, Doctor. An opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Hmm. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. Oh. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is. Or he is, truth. and he knows something you don't. Hmm. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings Weird. growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Sticky rings at the fingertips. Yeah. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, Such but he's still dehydrated. Yeah, exactly. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it yeah. myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. Yup, yeah. he's a mean? fish. Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. 
This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I yes. pray that it's not Where? here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your mm -hmm. imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? <laughs> yeah, it's not my body. I've seen <laughs> suction cups on his fingers. His falling body temperature. His dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of... an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? <laughs> Let me just throw one out there. Cephalopod, yes. perhaps? Oh. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you all nah. reacting. You for are this man and the others terrible. whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Wow. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? No, no one will listen to two women. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure. Yeah, let's go get it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Mum's the word. Alrighty. Another stealth level. Here we come. <laughs>